Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. On this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a chocolate cover strawberry bouquet. I have the same video in Spanish, but a lot of you guys asked me to do it in English. And I'm very excited. Thank you so much for the support. And here I go. I hope you guys like it. We're going to need 25 strawberries and the strawberries should be at room temperature is really important so that way the chocolate will stick really good into the strawberries. I have this chocolate. This is the brand that I use for this bouquet. Uh, it's a bright pink color. I already have it uh, melted. I melt it on the microwave. And to decorate them I have coconut and some sprinkles. We're going to begin by applying a little bit of the chocolate to the skewers and we're going to insert it into the strawberry. Try to find the hard part of the strawberry, that way um, you're going to have your strawberries very secure and they're not going to move from your bouquet. Next, we're going to cover the strawberry in chocolate. This part should be really easy, just dip it in the chocolate and try to cover the whole strawberry if you can. And I'm going to use this foam to keep them up. I'm going to be doing four designs for the strawberries and on this one I'm going to be applying coconut. For this one, I'm going to be applying these uh, really cute sprinkles, they're in a heart shape. Uh, just make sure that when you uh, put them, just kind of press on them so they can look much better on the strawberry. For this one, I'm going to be applying some pink pearls. They're really cute, they're really tiny, but I love the way they look on the strawberries too. And now for the last ones, I'm going to be doing some white stripes and I have this white chocolate. I put it in this bag, it's a Ziploc bag, and just make a really small cut on the tip of the bag. That way your lines are really small. Make sure that you do double check before you place it on the strawberry, um, just to make sure that the lines are not going to be too thick. Um, and when you have the, the skewers, it's really easy. Just kind of hold it and twist it and that should do the work. And now we are all done with the strawberries. I have them all covered with chocolate. And as you can see by leaving them in the foam, um, they should dry it on its own. You don't have to put them in the refrigerator. And now we're going to move on to the next step. This is a paper that I'm going to use. Um, this paper is shiny on one side, so I'm going to fold it in half because I want this side to be inside the strawberries. I'm going to need two just because this is going to be a large bouquet, but if you have a smaller one, you might just need one. Also, I'm going to put this one on the outside part of the bouquet since I have the long skewers, I'm going to fold this one a little bit uh, longer so we can cover the sticks all the way to the bottom. And this is how it should look when it's all done. And now since this is a big bouquet, we're going to make it easy with this wrapping paper. We're going to make small bouquets of four strawberries on each one and this is going to make it so easy to hold it in one. And to make this bouquet look even much better, we're going to make sure that the strawberries are nice and flat on the top as much as we can. Now 
Now that I have all my bouquets, now we're gonna make it in one single bouquet. This is really easy. All you have to do is just place them all together and just make sure that you continue to uh, put them even on the top as much as you can. I know it can get a little tricky because the strawberries are pointy, but just try your best so your bouquet can look very professional. And now that we have it all in one single bouquet, now we're going to secure it with more plastic paper. Just make sure that you tie it around really good. And now since we already had the paper ready, this is why I like to um, have it ready before I finish my strawberries. This should be really easy since you have it flat on the table. Just kind of fold it and try to cover as much as you can, but it should be really easy for you to cover it. And since we have the paper pretty long, it should cover the whole bouquet. And just in case, if you want to know where I got this paper, I got it at the Dollar Tree. It was really cheap. It was on the section where they have all the gift bags. And now we are going to make sure that we cover the all the sticks all the way to the bottom. That's why I like to leave the paper a little bit longer. And now I'm just gonna secure it with this string. And this is how our bouquet looks. I just love the results. This is perfect for a gift. And the best part is that you can eat it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, don't forget to subscribe, to like my video, to leave a comment. And thank you guys for all the support. Thank you. Bye-bye.